trending news. Hope Uzodima finally reacts to High Court's ruling. The Hope Uzodima's administration has finally reacted to the judgment of an already federal High Court that reinstated the elected local government officials sacked during the EADR era and sacked the 27 interim management committees appointed by Hope Uzodima's administration. Justice Regan, in his judgment, ordered the immediate reinstatement of the elected chairman and councillors who were elected into office during the regime of former Governor Rochas Okorocha. Ringing had described the IMC chairman as ghost workers, stating that it was executive recklessness and lawlessness to sack duly elected local government chairman. Speaking on behalf of the elected official, Honorable Chief Ibidigo Emeka called on government, Governor Iedioa not to appeal the judgment of the Federal High Court and allow them to return to work. The local government officials further pledged their loyalty to Governor Oak Uzodima, stating that they all belong to the same party. Uche Umusu, son-in-law to former governor, further advised Oak Uzodima not to appeal the judgment. However, Oak Uzodima has moved ahead with appealing the judgment. In reaction, the Imo State Commissioner of Justice and Attorney General COC Akalisa, speaking on behalf of the Imo State Governor Oak Uzodima, called on all the individuals involved party in the matter to remain and maintain status. He urged the IMC officials to remain in office until the outcome of the appeal courts. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm, this is a big shame. The Federal High Court lacked any jurisdiction to even entertain that case in the first place. They lack any jurisdiction to entertain this case or to accommodate this kind of case. The sacking of uh, legally elected local government officials in, in the country has become very, very rampant. Inasmuch that the local government officials who won their case at the High Court may suffer, may, may, may de we definitely suffer because I would have loved for the case to go all the way to the Supreme Court so that no governor would just walk up and sack legally elected local government officials without being without or without asking questions, without any advice. We up on money and start sacking um your 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 heads as you like. Is that is not that is that is wickedness. That is wickedness. So I don't know what the Supreme Court governor is saying about the issue. I don't know. Sacking elected council officials amounts to illegality as far as I'm concerned. Mr. Governor Okuzodima is a beneficiary of a legal process and should therefore respect the decision of ju 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 uh, judiciary. To respect the decision of the judiciary and ensure lawlessness, the appeal will fail because the dissolution of elected chairman and councillors was unlawful. Sacking someone without um uh, without any without asking for permission is very very wrong. Who put you in there? Who made you the governor? Who made you the leader? Why can't you seek for their advice? 
those that made you made uh, put you in that seat should have seeked for their for their advice before going ahead sucking um those that are working under you where you don't approach your, 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 that, that put yourself in in the in, in the in, in that seat no so people that brought in, in you you in to the seats that made you that that, is make, that made you sat on the seat should be um recognized as well before making such a decision that is it this appointed governor sucking legally elected officials against the wish of his people i know that very soon all this nonsense will stop if it's been removed before the september according to what mbakas Mbaka says, he said that he gave a prophecy that Opus Odima will be removed before, before September this year because of the things he is doing without even without seeking for the advice of those that made him, that made him the governor of Imo State. Since he has decided to do things on his own, then he should try and save himself. From all this mess, he, he, he has is putting himself. Court should find a way to punish any governor who sacks democratically, who sacks the elected local government chairman or chairman. Court should deal with them mercilessly. That is what I think the government, should, the court should do. Hope is trying to she is trying to say that he is uh, is powerful. He is the one that puts himself in that position he is today. That is why he has refused to seek the consent of those that made him that made him the governor of Imo State. But look at what happened now. Is oh, I too know attitude. Look at what, where it's leading him to. Because where is a lot of people, the Nigerians, the um, is eight, the, the rest governors are not in support of what he's, he did. They all want him to leave the seat because he's trying to know it all. Is is it when did when did he became the governor of Imo State? And look at what he's doing. His tenure is not up to a year, and he is behaving as if he knows it all. Imagine that. We all we all know. The Imolite knows that um, Opus Odima is doing all this for his own selfish interests. Even if the court sack Opus Odima tomorrow. His name has entered Guinness Book of Record that a former governor of Imo State, one time the governor of Himo. It's very preferable for a maker in India to be the governor of Imo State than Opus Odima that is not even up to a year and is misbehaving being the governor. The Imo like never supported Opus Odima being the governor, they have always supported uh, Emeka Yedia. But the court that made Opus Odima becoming the governor, look at what is happening. They are regretting ever making Opus Odima the governor. Now they want to sack him. They want to suspend him finally from being the governor of Imo State and bringing, returning. A maker in India back to his seats. Imagine that. Thank God they quickly realized this before the for four years will be over. Four years then will be over. Or should I say two years then will be over? They should have dictated this for a long time, but it's not too late. It's not too late. So the rightful owner of that seat should come back. The person is a maker in India. People of Imo State have been longing to bring back Emeka Yedua. They will be so much happy for this, for this innovation. I'm very much sure of that. So viewers, what is your take on this news?
what would you have to say concerning this news that you just listened to? Your comments concerning this is, is of great importance. Don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share and like this news as well. Thank you.